Hey everybody, this is my Rockwell 37-220 joiner, just a pretty st standard 6 inch joiner. There's been some posts lately about how to set the knives on these things, and I thought I would try to show you guys how I do this. So, the tools that you need are a good straight edge, one that's wide enough that it'll stand upright like this. I like mine in uh, centimeters and millimeters, but you could use it either way. You want something with pretty fine gradients on it for what I'm going to do here. And then, this is the real trick. This little pick with the right angle on the end of it. This is what I use to get underneath the knives. You can see it slots right in there like that. And that's what allows me to get a little bit of leverage action on it. That's how I can lift the knife up just a tiny, tiny little bit. So if the knife is too low and I need to raise it up, I just stick it under there and kind of lever back on it a little bit. And then to get this set up, what I do is I put a little bit of uh, masking tape on the head next to each of the three knives. And I've done, I've already measured this. So you see those numbers on there? That's how many millimeters the knife will catch and drag the straight edge. And so, the farther it drags the, the, at the straight edge, the higher the knife is. So you want all these numbers to be exactly the same. All right, so these ones are pretty close. My worst one, which I've already fixed, was here. It was 5.5 millimeters compared to 7, which is what I'm going for. And essentially, what I'm going to show you is how to do the next one. So. Here's how this works. So you roll the head back so the knife isn't exposed. Set up your straight edge. And I mark it on the edge of the table, right at the edge. Let's get this camera lined up nicely. So right there. So there's the 30. So now watch this. As I roll the cutter head, it comes up. The knife catches, lifts the straight edge a little bit and drops it off. There you go. Six millimeters of travel. That's why the six is on there. So what we want to do is we want to raise this knife up a little bit so that it pulls that thing seven millimeters. So I like, I have these old, uh, these old wrenches. I think these are from like, I don't know, adjusting the timing on an ancient car or something. I found this in my dad's toolbox way back in the day. These are nice and thin though, so they fit in here. Uh, remember that your jib screws screw into the jib so they kind of loosen a way that you wouldn't necessarily expect. feels like you're tightening them, but you're not. That's why a lot of these jib screws are stripped when you buy these old machines. I had to get these ones made. So now I'm wedging this thing underneath, and I'm just going to pry on it tiny little bit and you'd be surprised how little you need to do that to move it quite a bit. Sorry for the shaky video, I don't really have a stand for my phone. Alright, let's see how far this thing's rolling now. Gotta go real slow here. And, whoa. Look at that. So, now it's going 8, so it's too far. So that's fine. Let's move it out of the way. Center the head a little bit. Take the rubbery end of this thing. Just give it a couple of taps. Obviously it's easier to go down than up. So let's watch again here. And where are we at? Nope, still too high. Get that set up. A uh, quick reminder. <laughs> unplugged. Yeah, unplugged. All right. Let's tap that guy down there again. I'll try again. All right. There it is. That's seven. So I'll just... Uh, Tighten those screws up again, 
Mark this as a seven now, so that when I go around and check everything, I know that I'm good. Sometimes it's good to double check. Uh, when I loosen those things off, I loosen this jib screw quite a bit. This one a little bit, this one just a tiny bit, and this one not at all. And I was trying to make sure that I didn't screw up the, the setting on this side of the knife. Let's just do a quick check. There it is, right on seven. And keep in mind, this uh, this measurement exaggerates the setting on the knife. The fact that it's traveling an extra millimeter does not mean the knife is a millimeter high. It's uh, way more subtle than that. So now that I've got this set up, that knife should be perfectly parallel to the outfeed. Uh, the other thing that you might want to note is that by doing this, my knives are a little higher than the outfeed table. So when I'm done, I'm going to need to crank this thing up just a tiny little bit, like really a, a hair. Um, so there you go. That's how I set knives on a joiner that has no springs or no fancy mechanisms. This thing is from, I don't know, the 60s or something like that. I uh, took it apart, refurbished it, gave it a coat of spray paint. There's kind of the action underneath. Old style settings. Fence just rides on, uh, on the table. There's no fancy action on this one at all. But uh, yeah, I hope that was helpful. All right, good luck with your joiner.